you go guys. That's what we come for. I haven't actually caught this one. Freddie is fishing on the feeder with worms just up the bank has had this one. Cracking fish. We'll put them in the keep net and we'll show you them all later. What a fish, but that's what I'm come for. So hopefully I can get one like that later. Probably about a pound and a half that one. Right then guys, let's have a little look at the baits that we use for our river perch fishing. As you can see, I've made up a nice red ground bait. As you have seen from previous videos, I love using red ground baits for perch, and that's loaded with maggots and hemp. We've got plenty of maggots with us, a couple of pints. Um, it's good to keep trickling in some throughout the day. It's a good trigger bait for perch. Now for some other species, we've got some hemp and some casters. Casters are also a very good alternative bait for those bigger perch that might be very picky on the maggots or get beaten to them by smaller fish. And on the hook, we've got lobworms and dendrobina worms. Everybody knows a worm is good for a perch, so we're hopeful of a few bites on those. Well, because the river in this area is quite deep, we chose to fish the feeder for the perch. Now feeder fishing for perch can actually be quite difficult because they are very sensitive to bite resistance. So it pays to use the lightest quiver tip you can get away with in the situation and the lightest feeder as well. As you can see, we're just sort of casting this to the middle of the river to the back of a snag when we knew the perch were holding in good numbers. And it didn't usually take too long for bites to develop. But like I said, you've got to watch really closely that tip and get ready for any little pulls or little indications that you may be able to strike at. It's great fun when you finally get it right. Well, I was also feeding some loose maggots with a catapult. And the reason I was doing this is to try and keep the small fish active in the swim. And the more the small fish are chasing the maggots around, hopefully the more that would keep the perch interested and feeding hard on the baits that I wanted them to. Second perch of the day for me. Got one a lot more special in the net to show you a bit later, but look at that cracking marked fish. Beautiful. Right, well here we go then guys, we've got our capture perch for the day. It's actually a very good time to still be fishing for them, but I thought we'd uh, get the video of our catch uh, whilst uh, we still had some light left. And as you'll see, it's a banging net of fish. We've weighed it, it's 15 pounds worth of perch in here, some absolute donkeys. We'll show you some of the individual fish as well. Freddy's had a, a decent one, which we reckon is well over two. Probably that one there. And that's Maybe the that one. one. Maybe well, I don't know because we've had two big ones. I had one that was quite big. Uh, there's another one. unit. There's a big there. end of here. <laughs> you know, really... some lovely perch there. That's that we'll, first one we won't keep them well, out for it? too long. Yeah, uh, we'll just get a photo and then we'll get some photos of the bigger ones. So, such works back. Lovely catch of fish. 
you. There we go then guys, that's my biggest one of the day. Two pound two ounces, caught on a ledged lobworm. Again, absolutely lovely fish. Not the absolute monsters that we came for, but as you can see, we fairly novices to the venue and we've still caught plenty of decent perch, so awesome. Well there we go then guys, what a fantastic session on the Great Ouse. River perch fishing doesn't get too much better than that to be honest. We didn't have any of the real monsters we came for, but we had lots and lots of bites, which is what fishing is all about, especially in the winter months. I was happy with my two pounder, I'm sure Freddie was happy with his two two pounders, and we had loads of other fish as well. So I hope you've learned a little bit from this video, and maybe it's inspired you to go perch fishing as well. Until next time guys, tight lines.